Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm uh, here with O'Hara Davis. Uh, first loss, mate, a tough loss to take. How are you feeling at the moment? That might be a stupid a question. A tough loss to take? What's tough is you having to do your job coming and speak to people. I've got, I'm, I've got six figures in my bank now. My job ain't tough. That's What's, right. What? Cook has paid me three figures, so it's all good. What? You're doing <laughs> tough. Right, so how are you what feeling? Are you feeling, still feeling good? Um, yeah, I feel good. You know, it's quite embarrassing taking a loss like that in front of a big crowd of millions. But I think it's life. In life, sometimes you, you take L's, you don't take L's. It is a bit more, it does say a bit more embarrassing because I've spoken a lot of stuff, but that's not going to change my character. I'm still going to speak, I'm still going to give, still going to entertain because that's what I do. Um, boxing's all I know, I've been doing this since I was young. So yeah. one defeat on my record ain't going to stop me from um, going after. No, that's you look what at the George Grove, the girl fight, they said that yeah. that was uh, too soon in their career. Yeah. But then you look who became the world champion yeah. first, you know, so yeah. it's it's not the end of the world, this defeat. But yeah. uh, did anything in there surprise you with Josh? That, that uh, no, nothing really surprised me. I knew he was a good fighter. Uh, I knew he was a good fighter. Um, yeah, that was he, was, he was a good fighter. I, I did believe I'll be the better man on the night, but there was nothing in particular that I was surprised by. I mean, but obviously, it's. it's you're still, your buffies are still young, young yeah. fighters up and coming. I mean, if I could turn it? time back, if I could turn time back from this time when they offered me the fight, and I knew that the fight would end up like this, would I have turned the fight down? Hell no. no. I, I still would have taken the fight. Well, I, believe, fight you, I, it? I believe it's about being a fighter. I think it's about being a warrior and having a fighter's mindset. Like I always say, have a fighter's mindset, a fighter's heart. We both went, came into this fight knowing that we could lose. Yes, me and him are not friends, and after this, we're still not friends. We're still. Is there newfound respect there after the um, ring with him? There's newfound respect. I've always respected him as a fighter, but I think as P as two two different con two different contenders from two different camps, um, we we still well, we still won't see eye to eye. But I respect mm -hmm. everyone as a fighter. <coughs> but anyone in my weight class is going to be you know it's going to be a bit hostile even after the fight, and maybe one day um, we c we could do it again. I think the fans were entertained. <laughs> Yeah, was it was definitely a, a, a fight for the fan-friendly fan fight, as they say. Yeah. So, is that something you would look for, maybe, for two, three uh, years down the line? I'm not really thinking about. I'm not thinking, really thinking yeah. about when well, I'm going to fight him next. Obviously, he beat me. He's going to go on to do whatever he's going to do. I'm going to go on to do whatever I'm going to do. But um, when I think about where I come from and where I've got to, even though I've lost, I still feel like um, I've done. I've done okay. I've done. Yeah. I think I've done good. But you know, you you know, you're that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you. It's clear that you're extravagant and you enjoy the, the finer things in life. So normally, when I ask fighters what they're going to do next, they say back in the gym. Huh? <laughs> what are you going to do next? Go on a holiday. You're going on a holiday. You're not going to go on a holiday. Um, you know. Uh, anywhere uh, nice? Uh, oh. Me and my girlfriend are going to go back to New York. Nice. So what else? Just going to have a. Just going to spend enjoy. that six grand. Six grand. So six figures. So six yeah. grand. If you got paid six grand, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> exactly, not yeah. anymore. Right, yeah, O'Hara, I know you're, yeah, you're a busy man, you've got your team here, yeah. and they'll probably all let you to get you, give yeah. you a cuddle and whatnot, get you yeah. partying and whatnot, so I'll let you go, and thanks for doing this 5 yeah. TV well, chat, right? Let me say one thing to the fans, like, um, you know, a lot of people believed in me, a lot of people here believed in me, my brother believed in me, and after the fight, when I came up to the, to the room, I've been to dressing rooms when certain people have got to be in a mood down, I just think it's about being a fighter, yes, that's what my first loss, I didn't expect it, but boxing is literally all I know. So um, my next comment that I have, I'm still going to go now. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still going to talk shit. Yeah. It don't matter. It don't matter. Who I'll add something to that. Look at, look at, for example, look at WWE. Boxing is like the same thing. It's, it's like WWE. Yeah. When when a fighter at WWE goes and gets beat, they can always come back. Why? Because they're not fighters. They're also entertainers. Mm -hmm. And just because me taking a loss, I'm still going to go out there. I'm still going to entertain. Anytime I get behind uh, like a camera and I talk. People are still gonna to want to listen to hear what I've got to say, so I'm still I'm still gonna entertain. And as long as I entertain, my boxing career it will always live. It, it will it will never die down because I'm an entertainer. I'm not just a boxer. Yeah, well I'll say I can I'll add something to that man. I'm looking around this room right now. You've got a strong team behind you. Also, so. that's another thing about having a having a team. A lot a lot of people I know I'm I'm a, I'm a smart guy. A lot, when you when you analyze different people, a lot of fighters got people in a team where if they get beat they will go. I make sure that people that I've got a mind team are people that I love. My, oh my, like, my family. My family. My family for one. My family that are my blood. My family that aren't my blood. People that I've known from when I was young. I grew up with all these guys so like we've got friends in our crew that maybe aren't doing as good as I'm doing but we're still all a part yeah. of, our, of, of our crew. So just because of this, yes I will lose all the people that, that were on the hype train but I will not. I will not hang use on my true friends. And yeah. I hang around all my true friends, so it'll be so easy 
for me to bounce back. 100%. My mum, we're all happy. The only person that was really sad was my oldest brother. He was really sad, mm. you know. But we're gonna go out to McDonald's. I'm still. I've got them vouchers, bro. You've got five, five guys, man. Five guys. You I'm still gonna have a burger. But I think the only people that I've lost are the people that was on the hat trade, and me losing them in my eyes isn't a loss no. as long as I've got my true friends my true family I will come back I will take another big fight if that happens again it will ha- then it happens again but boxing is all I know so I'm, no matter how many no matter how much anyone's sad that I got stopped anything boxing is all I know until you teach me some until you teach me some next art I'm always I'm always I'm always going to fight good stuff I've got to say I'll let you get on I will get that you gone but I've got to say thanks for your time yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having a scorching in your room, man. I appreciate that.